Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at what we call the basalt block. Now remember, this is a GFRC boulder, stands for glass fiber reinforced concrete. It's the same material used in zoo exhibits and animal habitats. It has the look, the feel, and the texture of real rock at about one-fifth the weight. And I will show you up close on the video here, show you that detail, just how much it picks up. But right now I want to talk about, this was a mother rock was made, there's a mold made of this uh, mother rock, and then this, then this is cast in that GFRC. It'll pick up every crack and crevice and, and every detail that's on that mother rock will be on this rock. Now this is one of the more impressive, I would say, of the one-piece boulder. Uh, this has a, uh, being a block, it has kind of, you can see it has the formation of several basalt columns, but they were all molded together into one block. So that's the way it came as the mother rock was just like this, and it looks uh, looks very real. It's a very nice looking fountain. One piece is pretty large. It's the largest of the one piece vertical fountains, we'll call it. Uh, it has one place where the water comes out there in the top. Now, this is a this is something you can expand. This is pretty impressive the way it is. We have it in a four by four basin. If you want, and if you increase the pump size or increase the way the water, if you create back pressure, it'll make the water shoot up higher. And those are all things you can do, but if you do that, you need to have a wider collection area. Now, we offer to be able to increase either the pump size or the amount of how high that water shoots out of the top. The way we've got it set right now is about as much flow as you can have on a 4x4 four four basin. If you increase the plume the water at the top or you go to a bigger pump, then we're going to have to increase the footprint. Right now, we're on a 4x4 four four basin. We would have to do a rubber liner basin install. It's pretty simple to do and we could be glad to help you with that. We can put all it together in the kit for you. At that point you're creating a seven foot wide footprint and you're going to be able to ramp that pump up and shoot the water up higher and the water will splash more. And we have lots of customers that opted to do that on this fountain too because it's taking advantage of that impressive size of this fountain. Right now I'll grab the camera and show you a close. It does flow out the front and the back. Uh, we have it kind of set up so that there's more water coming out of the, what we consider the front, although there is no designated front on this fountain. You can see it comes out, falls over those basalts, hits the different shelves on there, and then kind of splashes out. And it's very impressive when you have a bigger pump on it. And it, you can kind of see the way the water comes over. There's a lot of water action, more so than probably any of the vertical boulders, uh, other than those sets of three basalt columns. You can see there in the back where the water is coming out and flowing over that back basalt. got a lot of sound to it you know go all the way around to the other side and there's that water flowing out the back I hope I'll show you a little bit better on that and then we'll get up close on it and you see that area right there in the top where the water's kind of coming out front and back you see we put place the stone there to try to divert some of the water to keep it from splashing as much but I'll come around back here and show you where it's coming through in the back you can kind of see where it comes in there, and you can increase that too. If you want it more coming around to the back side, you can do that. Also, we've got uh, we've got a restrictor in there, what we'll call something we put in there to make it shoot up a little higher. I'm going to move this out of the way and show you, and then I'll remove that. And you can see that it's coming out of there now, uh, not as pluming up as much. The water volume didn't change, but it just doesn't shoot up as much. And now that I'm going to do that, I'm going to place this rock back on the top. And then that's going to help divert the water over to the other side. These are things you can play with on your end. And we can do that for you if we know ahead of time what you're, what you're looking, what you're wanting. So this is the Basalt Blocks, a great looking fountain. Very impressive, a lot of water action.